Okay, I'm going to attempt to go through some of the steps to make a morph in Clo so that we can change our body dimensions. So the first thing we need to do is prepare our figure for exporting. So we're going to get rid of the eyelashes. And in parameters, I'm going to go under the actor. Okay, so uh, general mesh resolution, mesh resolution, and turn that to base. Now I can export as an OBJ. And I have a preset for Blender Morphs where my scale is 1%, and I think everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, I made the preset, so that's not one you're going to have uh, already. Now I'm going to head over to Blender. Uh, let's see what that is. Let's make a new file here. Delete that and import our OBJ, and I have a preset for importing, which uh, changes from split to keep vert order and check poly groups. Now, let's do one that's a little tricky. I want to change the inseam length. So, I want to make the legs longer and just the legs longer. So let's look at this guy straight on, highlight it, turn it to mesh so I'm working on everything, go to edit mode, and uh, I'm going to move my feet out of the way because I don't want to scale my feet. So G for grab, Z in the Z direction, I'm going to pull them far out of here. Now, I'm going to highlight just the parts of the mesh that I want to lengthen. You can uh, grab those and along the z-axis, no, I want to, sorry, not grab them, I want to scale them just on the z-axis. Scale z and make them some taller and then grab them along the z-axis and put them right underneath. Grab z. There we go. Give that a spin. Make sure it looks like there's no weird geometry where these points have jumped over each other. Now I can grab, let's get back into uh, mesh view so that I grab all the points all the way through. Get those. And grab along the z-axis, pull those back up a little bit closer. Let's see how that looks. I don't like how those took a jump up there, so I'm going to grab Z, back down to there. Okay, I think that looks better. Now I want this to be in the same place as my original avatar was. Those are longer legs than we're ever going to need, but that's fine. So let me bring in import OBJ, our old one with the preset. There we go, and I want to grab along the z-axis and zoom in on those feet. Grab z. Give it a little spin. Zoom in here. Grab z. They seem to go right about there. All 
that's as close as we're going to need to be for this example. So get rid of the one that we just added. And this is our longer than our legs ever need to be guy. So let's export that as an OBJ and we'll put it back where my other ones were. And I have a preset for exporting morphs back to DAS. And I forget what's different. Object groups. Well, the setting should be like this either way. So well, I've already got one of those exported. I don't need to save a new one. So let's go back to DAS. Um, I'm going to make a new document and import a new character that doesn't have his eyelashes and everything removed. We can just use a regular guy. He doesn't have to be at base resolution. So with him highlighted, I'm going to go to Edit, Object, Morph Loader Pro, choose Morph File, and we did the inseam one. Unclick this one here, go to reverse deformation, right click on it and change it to yes. Except, oh crap, I don't want to do that. Um, here, we'll make one. Uh, it's a test here, let me pause this. Okay, we got to copy this now. So, file, object, morph loader pro. Choose a file. We're going to use our inseam copy. And inside this, change that to yes and accept. So it says it created it. You can hit OK and close that. And then that's going to be under Genesis 8 male uh, morphs. So here it is. So that goes from 0 to 100. It also goes negative to negative 100. So you can change all those things, and I'll show you in just a minute how. Uh, right click on that and go into edit mode. And we can change a few things there by clicking on our parameter settings. You can make it a color. I'm making all mine yellow, but you don't have to make yours yellow. Um, this is where you choose where it's going to be. Since this is for the lower half of the body, I've been putting mine in actor. They don't have options for all of the body parts here. Um, so I'm doing, uh, for the legs, I'm doing actor, hip, real world. If I go into real world, all that's under there is my measure metrics. So click on real world. So that's real world characters. I said click. There we go. And if I only wanted to go from 0 to 100, if I only wanted to get bigger, I would change that. But I'm OK with this one getting smaller. Sometimes if it gets smaller, it's like a crazy looking thing, depending on what it is. So I'm going to hit OK here so that it disappeared, because now it's inside actor. Yep. And so here's the other ones I've made. Uh, so we're going to work on our in seam copy. Uh, let's take a look at his bones because this has just changed them. If I bring this all the way up and go into my tools and my joint editor, you can see here's where my old joints were and they're not moving with my figure. So I right click on my figure, go to edit, adjust rigging to shape and press accept. Now they are a part of them. Oh, not yet. I want to attach it to this slider. So uh, right click on the slider and ERC freeze and accept. Now the bones move with him. If I want to save this slider as a preset and not have it go away as soon as I open a different file, go to File, Save As, Support Asset, Morph Asset, and this is the directory that it saves in. It's probably going to have your vendor name, and then find where we put it inside Genesis 8 
actor, hip, and then I click real world and click accept, but I'm not going to click accept because this is just a test one. So now let's get rid of that joint tool. I can change more than one slider at once if I've made more than once, so more than one. So like I can make his inseam higher. That's not changing his height. That's not a good way to change his height overall. I would use a height slider for that. But if I need to make an adjustment to the inseam after I've changed the height to the right height, you know, do height first, then inseam. Um, his thighs were, his thighs were really large before. So I can change their size. That's a different morph that I already made. Um, hip circumference came with measure metrics. So you can see these all sort of work together um, and they don't always work gracefully together. Like I don't love their default hip circumference slider. Um, it does something crazy to his butt. It makes everything really large there. Um, so I'd like to use a different one that either I'll make or get out of a package. But in the meantime, did I call this seat? Did I call it booty? I might've called it booty. Uh, where did I? Made a different one to make the seat smaller. Uh, but it's not showing up here, so it might not have saved yet. Okay. Um, so that's how you do it. That's how you make a custom morph and you can layer them on top of each other. Enjoy.